So from a fun year project, I had to build a device which would measure a displacement of few millimeters using cellerometry and gyrometry. And I can't exactly say what I was actually measuring, the actual displacement I was meant to measure with the device as it was built for a research group. And it could be further work done on this device or future versions of the device. But I can talk about the problems I had using accelerometers to find displacements and other mathematical problems and circuitry problems. So, okay, look at the device here. So this has a, all our circuitry other than the sensors and our microcontroller in it. Microcontroller we're using is the MPU or no, uh, MSP432P401R and it's being programmed using Energia. And um, it tried to keep it as simple as it could using as little states as it could. So we have our power, which is self explanatory. We have our recording, which I'll get a recording button here. There you go, just a little limb switch. And when we press it, it lights up. Now I tried using an SD card to save all the recording too, but I'm sampling at a thousand hertz and reading a few accesses from our two cellarometers and gyroscopes which I couldn't write too fast enough to keep our sample rate of 1000 hertz. So I had to save it to the device, which gave us limited memory, which can give us about 5.5 seconds. And as seen there, memory's full at the moment. Resetting the device, the least memory on it. And then the last uh, light is our sending, which is again, self-explanatory, press that. Uh, you'll send over all our data. The main accelerometer I'll be showing you today is the MPU, uh, nine, yeah, MPU 9150, which has three axis accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. This has a accelerometer and gyroscope, but doesn't have the magnetometer. But because I'm not using it, these are basically the same sensors. So now I'm just going to show you a, a, a displacement test, which I'm going to have to set up now. So the phone died uh, during the last video, so I'm just going to continue off where we went, uh, where we were last time. So I'm going to move this accelerometer about three centimeters and then uh, convert the acceleration from it into a displacement, which we'll see on the computer over here. So press our record for three centimeters about then back. And now, uh, just press our send and sending. And I did mention in the last video that this is made on processing and all the maths is done on processing and a few other things are done in it as well, which I'll talk at the end of the video. So right now we're going to see the acceleration graph from the z-axis of the accelerometer. And there you see there, the blue. And um, the problem I had with uh, converting the acceleration to displacements was um, the amount of samples being integrated was a problem. Like if we start integrating this part here where nothing's happening, even though like uh, this red line is my calculated gravity vector, which once uh, cancelled should give me a zeroed acceleration. But even though it looks like it's following fairly well, there's still small errors. And if that's integrated over a few thousand samples, it just causes big error. So a thing I did to uh, help with this was to uh, get the user to indicate the start and the end of the movement. And we'll just integrate between those two points and just press enter. And it should start integrating between those two points and we should get a displacement graph of hopefully three centimeters. And there we go. Uh, our max there is 28. Uh, millimeters, so 2.8 centimeters. So it looks like it followed fairly well. The blue is our y-axis, which did move much because we didn't move up or down. We just moved forward and back. And just shown that it works well there. And then um, I can't exactly give the code for this processing sketch because it has stuff uh, to do with that project, like uh, the research. But I can give the code for the energy. Uh, for the MSP because it doesn't have any uh, relevant to the research. It's just recording the accelerometers and uh, a few timers and a few other things in there. So I can post that. But if there is uh, people wanting this code, I can try and adapt and take out all of the unnecessary stuff. 
like all the stuff they'd research and just have it doing the converting the acceleration to a displacement. There's a few other things that's in the code as well. Uh, it's making a database, it's able to, if I press save here, press S, yeah, it saves all of our data to an Excel file. So that's something else that if people want it, I could uh, post that code up. And um, yeah, I think that's everything. So if um, you want to know more about the project, you can visit my blog, roboroblog.wordpress.com. has all the details of the problems I had with the maths and circuitry and all that. And then uh, the code will be up there and it'll be in the description as well. So thanks.